Hi everyone, welcome back to the Quant's question of the day series. And I'm picking up Quant's question of the day 6 today. Interesting question for you. A lot of theoretical concepts in this. So let's have a look without any further ado. Uh, this is the question for you. Uh, the question says, the remainder when the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, dot, 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 up to 48, 49, 50. This number all the way up to 48, 49, 50. So it's a pretty large number. What is the remainder when this is divided by 16? So as I said, this is this is a question that intimidates a lot of people because it looks like, uh, like a very difficult question, but it is actually not. And it is actually built on a very basic concept that you should know and that you should understand and uh, that you should remember from your uh, divisibility rules. You know, you know that when you want to check whether a number is divisible by two, you just check the last digit. It's just the last digit. And you also know that when a number is divisible by 4, when you want to check the divisibility by 4 for a number, you check the last two digits of the number. So you, you just check this in the case of divisibility by 4, no matter how big the number is. And when you want to check a number whether it's divisible by 2 or not, you check its divisibility by 2. Uh, you just check the last digit by 2. Just you, you don't look at the number before that. You, uh, you might have a 100 digit number. You just look at the last digit. Now this logic continues. When you divide by 8, you have to check the last 3 digits. And if the last 3 digits are divisible by 8, the number will be divisible by 8. The reason for this, for this uh, in, uh, in number systems and in this logic of divisibility, the reason for that essentially is that when you, when you look at uh, 2, 2 divides 10 raised to 1 and 4 divides 10 square and 8 divides 10 cube why you uh, why why you look at for 8 for divisibility by 8 why you look at the last three digits is because 8 divides 10 cube so what happens is when you when you try to write the multiples of 8 you reach a, a point where you reach 8, 16, 24, 32, you reach 992 and 1000. And after that, the repetition of the same cycle continues from 1000 to 2000. Because it's guaranteed to divide every 1000. Just like 4 is guaranteed to divide every 100. So 4 ke table mein jab aap yaad karte ho, if you remember, 4, 8, 12, 16, up to 96, uske baad 100 aada ta tha. Aur uske baad wahi pattern repeat karta. The same pattern repeats till infinity. So why does... Why does 4 divide 100? The reason is 10 square is 2 into 5 into 2 into 5. And 4 is 2 into 2. And divisibility basically means one, one view of divisibility is that if you write all the prime factors of the numerator and denominator, the denominator should get completely cancelled out. And that happens here. Why does 8 divide 1000? Because 1000 is 2 into 5 into 2 into 5 into 2 into 5. So 1000 is 2 into 5 into 2 into 5 into 2 into 5. So naturally an 8 divides 1000 because there are enough 2's in the numerator to cancel the 3 2's that 8 has. So if you continue this logic, the logic continues that 16 divides 10 raised to 4. Why does it divide 10 raised to 4? Because 10, 16 is 4 2's and 10 raised to 4 is 2 into 5 multiplied by itself four times so obviously the fourth power of two will divide thousand ten thousand ten raised to four and hence when you want to find divisibility by 16 for a number or in fact remainder by 16 when you want to check what remainder a number leaves when you divide by 16 you have to check only the last four digits and hence this num this question although it sounds very intimidating to start with is actually a very simple question so uh, this, this logic, by the way, continues for 32. For 32, you should check the last five digits for divisibility. Check the last five digits because 32 is 2 raised to 5. It continues for 64. 64 is 2 raised to 6, so you check with, uh, with the last six digits, etc. So if I give you a number divided by 64 and I'm asking you for the divisibility or the remainder, just divide this much, last six, six digits by 64. And uh, you will get that. And you should also appreciate that this logic also continues for uh, 
multiples of uh, 2s and 5s so for example if you want to check uh, check divisibility by by uh, let's say 400 or you want to check remain, remainder by 400 so 400 is 16 into 5 into 5 and that is 2 raised to 4 into 5 square so what is guaranteed is that 400 also divides 10 raised to 4 so for divisibility by 400 you should again look at the last four digits and you just look at the larger of these two right so for example if you are if you're trying to uh, uh, trying to find uh, a divisibility rule let's say for uh, uh, for uh, uh, let's say 250 or 250 the both obvious hai. but uh, mm, I mean let's let's say uh, you are trying to find the divisibility for something like this 5 into 5 into 2 into 2 into 2 so this number will divide 1000 because 1000 is 2 cube into 5 cube so this number ka divide, ye number kaun sa hai? 25 into 2 50 100 200 obviously ये ये बहुत इजी नंबर्स हैं इसमें बहुत ज्यादा इश्यू नहीं होता है बट यू माइट हैव यू माइट यू माइट वांट टू चेक अ डिविजिबिलिटी और और रिमाइंडर इफ यू आर डिवाइडिंग समथिंग बाय 5 रेस्ट टू 6 अपॉन 2 इनटू 2 रेस्ट टू 5 दिस इज अ लार्ज नंबर एंड यू शुड रियलाइज फॉर अ नंबर लाइक दिस यू शुड चेक द डिविजिबिलिटी ऑफ द लास्ट सिक्स डिजिट्स इन दिस केस सो हैविंग सेड दैट दिस क्वेश्चन बिकम्स प्रीटी सिंपल देन बिकॉज़ फॉर 16 I am only bothered about the last four digits, so I'll look at four nine five zero divided by sixteen. This remainder is one, and uh, forty nine divided by sixteen is giving me a remainder of one, and one fifty divided by sixteen, uh, sixteen uh, eight is a one forty four, right? Uh, sixteen nine is a one forty four. Sorry, and uh, that gives me a remainder of six, and hence that's the correct answer. Chalo, I'll see you again in the next uh, lesson. For the time being. I'll take your leave and do uh, share the videos and uh, do uh, comment on the videos and do uh, uh, share the channel and, and do subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.